Our first contestant is very good at stand-up, but let's see how he gets on when he's sitting down as we welcome Jimmy Carr! <laughs> This is genuinely exciting. This is like being on Star Trek. You OK? Well, I didn't know we were playing in pairs. You and your new hair. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I've, I haven't got new hair. I've basically redistributed my hair. There was, a lot, there was hair sort of back there, and I felt I needed it here. So in I, the front. You've had it moved. I had it moved. All I did was have it moved. In lockdown? Well, just after lockdown. So I you did a mail order thing? <laughs> Sent it away <laughs> to be moved further forward. Yeah, that was the that's it's the basic. It's really weird because it's like it sounds like Jimmy Carr, but it doesn't look like Jimmy Carr. So let's see how you get on, shall we? Okay. Have you not considered having anything? I don't done? need to. I mean, because you've had some cosmetic work done. I think you're fairly open I think about I've that. Had a you? lot done. Because you had your teeth were very white. I remember at one stage, mm. and you've had them. I've yellowed them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know why you're here? Um, someone else dropped out. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, rules. The rules. Let me run you through them, if I may. OK. There are 15 questions between now and a million pounds. OK. You've got four lifelines. You've got 50-50. OK. You've got two phone friends because there's no audience because of the COVID. Oh, I thought that was just because people preferred Tarrant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? No, it's not the heart. Don't the crew going, oh. That's because they were promised Sean Locke. <laughs> and then you've got Ask Me. Ask you. The humiliation. How desperate would I have to be to say, Jeremy, do you know? In a few minutes, yeah. you're going to be doing that. It is kind of nerve-wracking yeah. just to be out here in the middle of this. Uh, so, that safety nets, you've got one at a thousand pounds. OK. And then you set where you want the other one to be. That's a change from the olden days. Um, but once you've set it, you no going back. It's there for good. OK. Good. Right, Jimmy Carr and your new hair Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> this is your first question. OK. For £100, here it comes. <laughs> Which of these is a common abbreviation for a popular alcoholic drink? G&T is my guess. H&M. Shop. P&O. O. Oh. G&T. As I say. Q&A. Well, I'm going to go with C. G&T. Final answer. You got hundred pounds. I'm surprised. I've I've had a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to leave. It's all a bit tense. That covers the train fare. Yeah, sure. Okay. So we're there. Let's see if we can get you up to two hundred pounds. Yeah, I mean, very that. cocky on the first one, but I mean, I know what this is like to watch at home, and it's like you're very confident until until you're they sat get. here. Okay, right. This is your two hundred pound question. I'm waiting for you. In the expression often said when promising to keep a secret, a person's lips are what? Crossed? Oh. Sealed? Oh, yeah. Puckered? Right. Chapped? Uh, B. Sealed. Final answer. Correct. £200. <laughs> I'll have to get this bit over your cookie. £300 question. Which boy's name is commonly used in radio communications to confirm that a message has been received? Richard? Rupert? Roger or Raoul? C, Roger. Final answer. £300. Yeah. £500 question. Don't clap him, it slows him down. I mean, a little bit of encouragement would be nice. It's very nerve-wracking out here. It's not nerve-wracking. It is, because you start thinking, well, maybe they say Richard at the end of a call. £500 <laughs> question. Which Warner Brothers cartoon character is an amorous skunk? Sylvester? Foghorn Leghorn, Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. That's what I just said. Or Daffy. Sylvester's a cat. Daffy's a duck. Foghorn Leghorn is, I think, some sort of some sort of cockerel. Uh, so C, Pepe Le Pew. Final answer. And that's right, and that's five hundred pounds. Well, this is going better than I could have expected. Now this is your last chance to go away with nothing at all. This is therefore your one thousand pound question. Jimmy right. Carr, here it is. Well, the organisation known as UCAS is most associated with which of these places? UCAS. Uh... Museums. Yep. Hospitals. No universities. Universities. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Courts. 
Uh, UCAS is uh, C University's final answer. You've just made it to your first safety. That's a thousand pounds. Well done. Come on. Come on. Genuinely quite relieved. I mean, I, I, I know you and I, I love seeing you, but I'm really, my heart is racing. It's a nerve wracking show. It is a nerve wracking show. We ought to say at this stage, you're not here to win any money for yourself. What? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to give it away to Anne Charity. Here's the thing. I was chatting to production beforehand mm -hmm. and they said, uh, they said, you're playing for charity. And I said, well, what if we go another way on this? It's been a difficult year for everyone. Mm -hmm. I've not done as many shows as I'd like. That's true. What about if I win a million pounds and then I give them some of it? <laughs> what, about, what about if they have what I've won so far and then anything <laughs> on top? So a thousand pounds is going to... Well, it's just... What charity is getting the £1,000 before we start on the Jimmy Carr Benevolent Fund? OK, so um, the, the charity is called uh, SMC and it's uh, a youth outreach programme. Uh, they basically help, uh, you know, uh, young people youth. that are in trouble. Well, they've got a £1,000 and all the rest of it is yours. Come on. I'm not going to do the jokes that everybody thinks I'm going to do. Now. If I win, though, it's tax-free. Oh, I wanted to confirm. There it is! <laughs> There it is. I just want to confirm there's no... I don't need to run this by HMRC because there I've had run-ins in the past. It's tax-free. <laughs> tax-free, very much like the money I made in the first ten years of my career. <laughs> <laughs> well, until it was Sorry, wasn't... sorry, I paid it all back. Yeah, I was going to say, until it wasn't tax-free. Yeah, anyway, wasn't. would you like to set your safety net at £2,000? No, you're all right. Here we go. This is the question. In a 21st century craze, Gara Rufa fish. Garo Rufa fish were used to uh, treat your feet. I've got to read the question out. There are old ladies at home who haven't heard this question. There's old ladies at home? Yes, watching. In a 20... <laughs> In a 21st century craze, Garo Rufa fish were used as part of which beauty treatment? Micropigmentation. You've had that done. Teeth whitening. I've had that done. Hair trunk. No, sorry, it doesn't say that. Pedicure. Right. Bikini waxing. It's a, uh, it's a pedicure. C. Is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's my final answer. It's also the correct answer. Come on! Two pounds. <laughs> yes. It is the one where you put your feet in the tank and they come and nibble you. And it's just disappeared. It was a thing for five minutes and That's then we went... That's because it's deeply unpleasant. Would you like to set your safety net at £4,000? No, thank you. This is the question. OK. The term bunny boiler, referring to a vengeful partner, originates from which film first released in 1987? Right. Single white female. Nope. Fatal attraction. Yep. The hand that rocks the cradle. Nope. Sleeping with the enemy. Nope. Uh, B, fatal attraction, final answer. Correct answer. Thank you very much. Would you like to set your safety net at eight thousand pounds? No, thank you very much. But thank you for asking. This is your question. Which of these is the Latin word for elsewhere? Alias? No. Alibi? Alumnus? Or addendum? I think it's got to be B. Alibi. Is that your final answer? Yeah, B, alibi. Nice work, very nice work. That is the correct answer. £8,000. Thank you very much. I didn't know that. Neither did I, but hell of a guess, right? <laughs> that was, well, hell of a guess. Yeah. Um, safety net at £16,000? Uh, no, thank you very much. Still got all your lifelines. Here's your question. A dead lion with the quote, out of the strong came forth sweetness, appears on the packaging of which product created in the 1880s? A product created in the 1880s? Fry's chocolate cream, Lyle's golden syrup, Horlicks, or McVitie's digestives? I... I do not know the answer, but I know a guy that does. I would like to ask the host. Right, here's what I think. Only one of those has a lion on it. I used to have that 
treacle on my porridge in the morning before going to school. And it was, it's me, it's lion's golden syrup, that's my final answer. OK. Uh, Jeremy B, Lyle's golden syrup, final answer. I have to ask the computer to reveal the correct answer. If we could do that now, please. Well, that's good news. 360, my friend. 360. I think we can have a let's, swivel. Uh, let's enjoy a swivel. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We're here with Jimmy Carr. He's on £16,000. You still have three lifelines remaining. Let's okay. hope they're as successful for you as I was. Do you want to set your safety net at £32,000? No, thank you very much. Righty-ho. This is your question, Jimmy Carr. The atmosphere of Mars is composed primarily of which gas? Helium, nitrogen, carbon dioxide or methane? Um, I think it's carbon dioxide, uh, but I couldn't swear to it. I think I should phone a friend. Could I phone my friend Alan? Alan. Let's give Alan a call, then, shall we? Hello. Hi, Alan. Hello. Jeremy Clarkson here on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Jeremy. Hi there. Now we've got uh, Jimmy here, needs your help. Um, Jimmy, here's how it works. I'm going to hand it over to you in a second, and then you'll have 30 seconds to read out the question, the four possible answers, OK? Your time starts now. The atmosphere of Mars is composed primarily of which gas? Helium, A, B, nitrogen, C, carbon dioxide, D, methane. Say B again. Uh, well, so, so it's A, helium, B, nitrogen, C, carbon dioxide, D, methane. Atmosphere of Mars. I'm 70% B. B, nitrogen. Not my strong suit. OK. Sorry, Jimmy, but... Uh, no problem. That, 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 that. He's gone B, nitrogen. 70% on that is not quite enough to go for it, I think. Well, you've got 50-50 I... left. And yeah. And you've got I another think... phone, another friend. No, I think I've got to... Uh, I've got a 50-50 this. Is that what you want to do? Yes. OK, computer, can we take away two randomly selected wrong answers, please? Right, Alan... He was wrong. He was wrong, yeah. <clears throat> so that so, leaves you with carbon dioxide or methane. Hmm. So I'm... I think I might have to burn through my other phone a friend, because... Mm. So I'm not money. sure. Well, I mean, I thought it was C, carbon dioxide. Well, your choices are, of course, lose £15,000. Take a punt. Phone your other friend. It's a 50-50 shot, isn't it? Go with your gut. Um, I think I'm going to phone my other friend because. Cautious man. Well. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Who are we phoning this time? We're calling uh, Mark Wogan. Mark Wogan. Can we do that? Give him a call. Call me, of course, could you? That would have been annoying. We should have thought. Hello. Hi, Mark. Yes. Jeremy Clarkson here from uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Ah, oh, good evening. Hi there. We've got, uh, we've got Jimmy. Um, you know the form. Jimmy, everyone at home knows the form. You've got 30 seconds starting now. <clears throat> OK, the atmosphere of Mars is composed primarily of which gas? Is it C, carbon dioxide, or D, methane? Oh, I'm not 100% on that, Jimmy, I'm afraid. Uh, it would be... Uh... A guess at carbon dioxide. That was my guess as well, my friend. I'm very sorry to uh, use you up on this one, but I'm out of ideas. Uh, thanks, Mark. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. C, carbon dioxide, final answer. Jimmy Carr. That is the correct answer. Well done. You just won £2,000. Why, thank you. But now, you are a single-handed sailor. That's the way I like it, baby. In an ocean of difficulty. <laughs> yeah, this just got a lot more difficult real quick. 
You know that safety net thing that we've been talking about? Yeah. And I've been batting away? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd like to lock it in now. You're going to lock it in at £64,000. If I get there, sure. OK. Computer, can we set the second safety net at £64,000? There it is. And as you say, we've got to get you there. This is a £64,000 question, and here it comes. OK. Designed by Sir Nigel Greasley, which steam locomotive set a world speed record in 1938 that still stands? The Rocket, the Mallard, the Brighton Bell, or the Flying Scotsman? I mean, I've got no one I can call. I can't 50 50 this. And if you take a punt, you lose, what do you lose, £31,000. If I take a punt, what are my options here? Well, if you just take a stab in the dark, you've got a, what, 25% chance of being right. Right. You get it wrong, 75% chance of losing the £31,000, which you'd have to make up out of your own money quietly behind the scenes without anybody knowing later. Or you can simply take the coward's way out. <laughs> and say, I'm leaving with £32,000. I don't think anybody will hold it against you for very long. The charity will be delighted because they get £32,000. They'll just wish that you'd... I've never had better questions for me than this one. It's so annoying. So it's up to you. I'm thinking... If, of course, you get to 64000 this is the really... You have a free punt then at £125,000. i am thinking D, the Flying Scotsman. You play poker? A little bit. I don't. I, just, I don't know why you're looking at me like that. I'm trying to read, well, because I figure you'll know this. I'm taking a punt. A D, the Flying Scotsman, final answer. You just cost yourself £31,000. The Mallard. The Mallard. The world speed record, the Mallard. The blue one with the <laughs> sloping aerodynamic nose. The Flying Spots Scotsman's was the LNER one. Both, of course, made in... Doncaster? Doncaster. Of course. Which is sort of why I knew about them. Well, that's a shame. It is a shame. Um, I'm trying to think of the right word. I? It's disaster, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm going to try and put a positive spin on this and the right face. Jimmy Carr, you are going away from here with, for your charity, £1,000. Well, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Carr! We can't say <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. OK, here's my final question. Would you like to see more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire videos? Then click subscribe and you're guaranteed to win. Granted, it's not a million pounds, but it could be worse.